Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing retirees and whether or not the Thai economy will become increasingly dependent upon them. I've seen a lot out there in just sort of the news here in Thailand, especially in recent weeks, a lot of commentary on the future of the Thai economy. You know, for example, is the retiree economy going to be what keeps things going versus, I heard some people the other day talking about the, I think it was on YouTube, whether or not the backpacker economy would come back. And for people that aren't aware, there, there really was sort of a, a discrete economy, sort of a layer of the tourism economy, very dependent on the backpackers, that that was, you know, there, there were hostels, guest houses, restaurants, areas of town, Khao San Road, most notably here in Bangkok, that was very focused on sort of the backpacker kind of paradigm, kind of, kind of traveler. And we've definitely seen a lot fewer of the numbers of those folks. I, I would say compared to the retirees, you know, the retirees, for one thing, they have a visa. They, they have their own visa category, which I think has a tremendous impact. But, you know, it's just backpacking is, is, not, is not as easy as it once was, for lack of a better term. And so the big question I've heard from many is, will Thailand become increasingly dependent on retirees? Well, I think the word dependent is probably where we need to kind of look. Yet yeah, 17% of overall GDP prior to March 2020, when this response to COVID was promulgated, and we saw all these lockdowns and shutdowns and quarantining and essentially tourism I hesitate to say evaporated, but it, it fell by the wayside heavily. You know, in the aftermath of that, what, what are we sort of left with? Well, of course, 17% of GDP, that's a big number, and that being gone, you know, impacts a lot of folks. But Thailand is not, and this I think is a misconception out there, that Thailand is wholly dependent on tourism. And in my experience, that is not the case, and I've you know, we, we're making a video contemporaneously with this one where we discuss sort of, for lack of a better term, the kind of Sophie's choice Thailand has with respect to manufacturing and tourism because they gain, they bring in a great deal of foreign exchange from both, but gains in one sector can actually adversely impact the other sector. Inadvertently, nobody means for it to happen. It just is what it is. Not to go too deep into that, but moving forward, you know, I think retirees have always been a major component of that 17% of GDP. I think a lot of that GDP gets tabulated up effectively as tourism, although they're not tourists. Retirees, especially on non-immigrant O or OA retirement visas, are not, in, a, in any real sense of the word, actual tourists. They're, they're retired expats, basically, is how I look at them. And they do live here. They're, they're part of the more permanent economy, for lack of a better term. But I kind of think of them as contributing in, in that 17%. And then the question becomes, well, how much do they contribute? It, it's sort of odd. Over the years, I think the retiree community is simultaneously, if this makes sense, both overestimated and underestimated in their importance. And I think that in, in a way, the community itself to some extent overestimates its own contribution, not even contribution, but its overall, the, the, I, I don't think they see the bigger picture because you know, expats, you can end up kind of living in your own bubble. I, I certainly do in many ways. And you can kind of fall out of being able to see the bigger picture that you know Thailand is, is a country that's filled with a lot more people than just retirees that retirees may see every day. So there's, there's one level of that. At the same time, you know, I would have to imagine, based on numbers that I've crunched in the past, probably one of the main streams of foreign currency revenue coming into Thailand presently, in fact, I would say it's probably number two under manufacturing. I could be wrong, and, and you know, don't hold me to that. I'm, I'm simply speculating, but just kind of based on an educated guess, I would, I would think retirees presently probably the foreign exchange that they bring in just to live here and maintain their status here in Thailand is probably pretty heavy, at least for the moment. 
when you consider that there's virtually zero, not zero, it, there are numbers of tourists coming in, but it's pretty, you know, it's very low compared to what the numbers we were dealing with in quarter one of 2020 and, and backward. But long story short, yeah, I think the retirees, especially right now, we need them. I think we need them all the time. I think they're. I think they contribute to the economy. But, but I think right now, compared to most times, yeah, they. they I, you know, I've been down to Padilla a few times over the past year, and, you know, I think if there weren't retirees down there, I think everybody just almost not not trying to be facetious or, or snarky here, but I think they'd almost close up shop in that town. And I, I think the same could probably be said to some extent for parts of Huahin as well. So. Again, that's just one man's observation, but yeah, I think for the moment, retirees are a major blessing for Thailand and the Thai economy, and I think they probably will be for some time to come. And frankly, I hope everybody kind of remembers this time frame uh, in, in years in the future, especially if, if and when the tourism sector recovers and sort of remembers it so that you know, we remember that these folks, they are here thick and thin. You know, other than working expats, which I would say is a much lower number overall of foreigners in Thailand, you know, retirees and working expats, we're, you know, we're going to be here. They're, they're here, you know, when, when it's good and bad. And even the working folks sometimes aren't going to be here when it gets bad. But retirees, for lack of a better term, their demography is more sticky. You know, they stick to Thailand, you know, regardless of what's going on, much more thoroughly than other demographic groups. And hopefully we'll remember that in years to come, uh, hopefully when things improve markedly.